Hello, I'm Ryan F9 and these are my top five motorcycle life hacks, part two. So say I need to park my bike in the lot behind an apartment building. That's precisely where motorcycle thieves go shopping. So let's hack my motorcycle to make it impossible to start. On my old bike, it was super easy to yank the wire off the spark plug so it wouldn't start. But with this V-Strom, not so much. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go in under the seat and we're going to go to the fuse box. So right here immediately I can see which one the ignition fuse is going to be. I yank that one out and the bike isn't going anywhere. A clever thief will know to bring another fuse or use the spare to put it in here and start the bike, but this still might be enough to outwit an idiot. Another idea is to remove your clutch lever, and that can normally be done with the stock toolkit in like three minutes of work. Again, yeah, I mean, a clever thief, they're going to see that, they'll come back the next day with their own clutch lever, put it on and still steal your bike, but it is a good enough deterrent for single use. Now, our second life hack might be familiar to the dads out there, baby wipes. We all know that cleaning motorcycle gear is a little bit tricky, especially if you're in the middle of a long trip. I mean, helmet liners typically require their own cleaners because soapy chemicals can degrade the resins and the EPS foam and the shell. And then leathers, I mean, if you use regular soap, it will cause it to dry out and to crack and to degrade. But baby wipes can do the trick in a pinch. Now it turns out that most people are actually quite fond of their children. Um, so they make baby wipes out of really gentle chemicals so it's easy on them or, or whatever. Um, the other thing is that these are designed to moisturize while they clean, so they're not going to dry out your leathers. Throw a little packet like this in your side case and you will go through them in no time. Now, I use mine to clean my seat too, to wash my windshield. I wash my hands with them when I'm out camping. Now, they're super handy. The third life hack is a luggage solution. Hard cases are great, but they're only a fixed volume and my life doesn't always fit in here. What if I need to carry something long, like this three-man tent? Bungee net. What if I need to carry something round, like this soccer ball? Bungee net. What if I need to carry something square, like this birthday present for my mom? Bungee net. You get the picture. I mean, this Dowco Guardian Universal Bungee Net is one of the most practical luggage solutions I know of, and it only costs $18. You could probably find something even cheaper at Canadian Tire. Now, we're going to hack my motorcycle jacket to make it warmer using this newspaper. I start by crumpling up sheets of newspaper. Um, so I take a little bit which is about all the Montreal Metro News is going to be good for anyway. And then I want to stuff it into any sort of space that I can in the mesh liner, into the areas um, where my impact protection is. I stuff it into the cargo pockets here as well. Um, I can fit some more in there. Really anywhere I can find some space, I'm going to stuff newspaper. Now see, the newspaper creates lots of little air gaps. That acts as insulation for my body. It's also good at absorbing moisture before it gets to me, which is nice if it starts raining. Once I have the jacket pockets all stuffed up, I put the thing on and then I zip it up just by a few inches. And then I can grab more newspaper, unfold it here, and I can stuff it in around my torso. Like that, more at the back. It's really important to try to keep your core warm because if I can keep the core of my body warm, then my body's gonna send heat to my arms and legs as well. And that's it, one metro station raid for an old newspaper, and I now have a decent thermal jacket. My last life hack has to do with shopping. The power sport market runs on supply and demand just like everything else. And that's why we pay more for motorcycle gear than we do for snowmobile stuff because there's more people riding motorcycles. And that's also why ADV gear costs so much more than dirt bike equipment because all the dentists on R1200 GSs can afford to spend $1,000 on a jacket while the 14 year old motocross kids can't. So here's the life hack. And there's so much crossover in the power sport industry that you can easily jump to the cheaper side of the fence. Case in point, the Scott AC Premium GTX glove. And we have Gore-Tex, 200 gram thin slit, loads of reflective accents, heavy duty nylon. We have a leather palm. So far as anyone could tell, this is a premium cold weather motorcycling glove. Not the most protective with no armor plating, but that's hardly unusual. And because this glove is technically for snowmobiles and it doesn't say Alpine Stars anywhere on it, it only costs $100 instead of $200. I could list a billion other examples, but might as well let you enjoy the treasure hunt. As a hint, the ATV, snowmobile, and dirt bike markets, those are the gold mines for good deals. And that's it for my second round of motorcycle life hacks. I'll see you guys in round three.